What is up Cowboy Nation, Dallas fan 1997 here. And today I am going to do the pregame video to when my Dallas Cowboys take on the Los Angeles Chargers tomorrow on Monday Night Football. Reason why I'm making the pregame video a day before instead of the day of is because I'll be working tomorrow. So I will not have time to do it. So I'm just gonna get it out of the way now. Cowboy Nation, first of all, I wanna say this. The San Francisco 49ers just lost to the Cleveland Browns, who had their third string quarterback. Let that sink in. Their third, and now granted, Cleveland was playing at home. That does make a difference. But PJ Walker, a third string quarterback, he didn't play great, but he actually played better than Dak Prescott did against the 49ers. And he was able to get more points than Dak. Let that sink in. A third string quarterback outplayed Dak. So Dak Prescott's not the guy. I'm not, I, I'm done. I'm done with him. But I just wanted to put that out there. Just a reminder, y'all think that Dak is so great. Well, guess what? He got blew out by the 49ers, played like crap, and a third string quarterback, even though he played at home, outplayed him. Just a reminder. But anyways, I think the Cowboys match up well with the Chargers. I will admit, my boy, Austin Eckler, who I went to school with at Western Colorado University, is supposed to be back tomorrow. It sounds like he's going to play. Um, and Justin Herbert, he'll be playing, but he's been beat up and hurt. The Cowboys have a few keys to this game. Let's start with the defensive side of the football. Now, the Chargers, sorry, the Chargers like to throw the football, right? Justin Herbert's a very good quarterback. Kellen Moore is a very good offensive coordinator and wasn't the problem. I'll say it again. Kellen Moore was not the problem. It was Dak. Yeah. Anyways, Herbert's a good quarterback. Kellen Moore's a good offensive coordinator. But the Chargers' strength is their pass game. Now, Austin Eckler is a good, very good running back. I have watched him play live. I've met him multiple times, went to school with him was an acquaintance of him um very good running back but the Chargers strength is their pass offense the Cowboys defensive strength is their pass defense now they struggled a little bit last week but that was because th that we were down by so many points and we weren't able to stop the run because we weren't you know because the defense didn't play well and the offense sucked that it opened up the pass game now the key to the game on defense we have to find a way Cowboy Nation to stop the run first of all we got to find a way to stop the run we got to find different ways to use Micah Parsons and all these guys because now we're missing Leighton Van Der Esch we're beat up and hurt too and I'm not sure if Donovan Wilson's gonna play or not but I'm hoping he does but we'll see we're, 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 we're a little beat up and injured on the defense we got to find a way to stop the run number one and two we need to get the Los Angeles Chargers from playing from behind. If we can get them to play from behind and we force them to pass, we can win the game. And the third thing is the defense has to get some turnovers. Now, they got a turnover last game, but the offense sucked and they couldn't do anything. I'm going to keep bringing that up because they did. Uh, but if we can force them to throw the ball and force Justin Herbert to make some mistakes, as in throwing interceptions, fumbling, we have a chance to do well against the Chargers in this game. And I believe that our corners, even though we're a little beat up and hurt there, our back end is very talented. And I think we match up well with the Los Angeles Chargers. So the keys, and then of course, no penalties. We can't be jumping off sides and unnecessary roughness, face masks, all that stuff like we did last week against the 49ers. We did it last week and it was very critical. Even though we only got six penalties, which isn't that bad, three or four of the penalties that we had were critical. They gave the Niners a chance, and it shifted the momentum. So we cannot commit penalties this week on either side of the ball, but especially defense. So defense, their keys to the game is to find a way to stop the run, force the Chargers to play from behind, get some turnovers, and not have any costly penalties in critical situations. That's the key. Offense. I don't even know what the key to the game is on offense, to be honest with you. Uh, first of all, I guess Dak Prescott has to play better. 
I mean, he, he's played like crap all year. I, I kind of know what he is at this point. I don't expect him to be great, but I will say this. There's a possibility. The Chargers are beat up and hurt on defense. Their their defense is the weakness of their team. Their offense is the strength of their team. They're pretty much the exact opposite of us. Our weakness is playing their weakness. Our strength is playing their strength. Strong defense versus strong offense. Strong offense for the so weak offense for the Cowboys versus weak defense for the Chargers. So the Chargers do have a lot of injuries on their defense, especially the back end. They're not great. They have Joey Bosa and Asante Samuel, so they have some some pieces on that team. But overall, the Chargers defense is not good. They're not that great. So Dak Prescott has to play better. He's played like crap the last two years. He has not lived up to his contract. Dak has to be better. He has to go through his progressions. He has to read defenses a little bit better, which I don't think he's going to do because he's proven that he can't do it and he's eight years in. And he's got to make less mistakes, less terrible decisions. He needs to stop forcing the ball into double and triple coverage. And that's the thing. Second thing is play calling. Mike McCarthy has been absolutely terrible at play calling. I've watched the film. The biggest problem with our offense right now is not the talent. We have two problems. We have a head coach that cannot call plays to save his life, has a very basic, terrible offensive play design, and we have a quarterback that is not doing his job. He's not going through his progressions. He's not doing the things he should be doing as a quarterback on top of making bad decisions. So that's the biggest problem that we have on offense. But what we really need to do is we need to pass the football because the Chargers do have a bad passing defense. We shouldn't be running the football a ton. Now, we need to do we do need to get the run game going, but we need the pass to set up the run this game. Because the Chargers, their run defense isn't that bad. They're actually okay in run defense. They're bad, they're they're not great in pass defense. So we need to figure out some play designs to get the ball out quick. Quick outs, slants. We got to pass the ball on offense and we cannot commit any stupid penalties. And that pass will open up the run and we'll be able to run the football. That's what we need to do. Secondly, we have to score in the red zone. A red zone offense is still atrocious. The whole offense is atrocious, but especially the red zone offense. We got to score in the red zone. Getting field goals against an offense like the Chargers is not going to win you the game. You have to score touchdowns. We have to score touchdowns. So we got to find some better plays in this game to score a touchdown. Maybe some play action. Do something a little different than this basic offense, Mike McCarthy. The, the other thing is we cannot turn over the football. We turned over the football four times last game. Four. We were terrible when it came to protecting the football. We sucked. We cannot turn over the football, Dak Prescott and Tony Pollard, because Tony Pollard fumbled too last week. Let's not forget that. But we have to protect the football and offense, because if we don't, the Chargers have a very good offense and they will score. And then... It's just not going to be good. So the keys to the game, I would say, against the Chargers are the defense has to find a way to stop the run. They got to get the Chargers from playing from behind and defend the pass and get after the quarterback. I forgot to mention, we need to get after the quarterback this week, pass rush-wise, because we haven't done great that. We got to get after the quarterback this week. Get some turnovers, no critical penalties. That's the goal in defense. Now, on offense, the goal is Dak has to play better. We can't. We have to protect the football, not turn over the football. It goes back to not only Dak, but everybody playing better. And the red zone and, and just offense in general has to come up with better play designs because these play designs suck, Cowboy Nation. And lastly, no critical penalties. No holding, none of that. None. I'll be honest with you, Cowboy Nation. If I think if we can do those things, we have a shot. That's all I can say. To be honest, I have no idea how this game is going to go. I'm not really so much worried about the defense because I know the def I think the defense can do those things I just mentioned. I really do. I believe in Dan Quinn. I believe in our guys on the defense. The offense, though, I don't. I, I don't believe in Dak Prescott. I don't believe in him, and I don't believe in Mike McCarthy either. Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott are the weak link of this football team. 
Player-wise, Dak is the weak link of the offense. Coaching-wise, Mike McCarthy is the weak link of the offense. I know the defense can do it. I'm not worried about the defense. I know Tony Pollard and CeeDee Lamb, those guys can do it. Who I am skeptical of is Dak and Mike. I don't believe in Mike McCarthy being able to change the play calling. I think his play calling sucks. And I don't believe in Dak Prescott making the changes necessary to play better because we've given him chance after chance after chance. And, and I even had a little bit of faith in Dak. I really did. Just a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. But my faith in Dak is gone. I have no faith in Dak. So really, I have no idea how this game is going to go. That's going to be up to Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott, honestly. It's going to be up to them. I'll be honest, I don't really have faith in Mike McCarthy or Dak Prescott. I don't. I, I don't think that they're going to be able to do it, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I doubt they're going to be able to do it. So really, we're just going to have to rely mostly on the defense to win us games because they've won three of the, of the five games we've won have been because of the defense getting turnovers. So really, we just got to rely on the defense, and that's it. But, yeah, Dak should have a better game because he is playing a worse defense. But, you know, he played against the Cardinals defense, too, and they only scored 16 points. So that's why I don't have any faith in Mike McCarthy or Dak because they've done it already against the Cardinals. The Cardinals are not a great team. They played hard, but they're not a great team. And Dak Prescott and Mike McCarthy haven't showed up. But they can do those things. We, we got a shot, but uh, I just don't see it happening. I just don't see those guys doing it at a high enough level. I hope I'm wrong, but again, if we can do those things, if we can, we have a shot at winning. We do. But if they can't, it's going to be a long game. So we'll see how the game goes. I'll come to you guys tomorrow after the game. And uh, go Cowboys. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.